Hello guys, welcome to another video. This is Will Rock. Coming at you from downtown Manhattan Midtown, Bryant Park to be exact. Um, yeah, if, uh, if you're tuning into this video, first of all, I appreciate you guys' support. As always, much love, appreciate it. Um, you guys don't know me, again, my name is Will Rock. I'm a content creator from here in New York City. Um, I stream Pokemon Go Raid Hour every Wednesday. And I do other stuff, other games, stream um, Fortnite and Call of Duty and other, 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 few other things. I do Pokemon Go vlogs as well from here in the city. Whenever I do travel, whenever that is, I also do vlogs from when I travel. And I play the game as I travel. But today, vlog is not really about me. Although I do appreciate you guys' support and all that stuff. But today's vlog is for um, Heroes Niantic community. A bunch of us have, a bunch of creators have, um, I got band together. We did it last time, band together from when they did the focus Star Radius. So, it worked then, so now we're gonna do it again. Hopefully, it works this time. You know, the recent changes that, that's gonna come, um, I think tomorrow, from the point you've seen this video, to tomorrow, which is the 6th. Um, they have, they're gonna nerf, heavily nerf, there are more raids. So you could only do only do now five more raids per day. They really want us to go out and um, go raiding in person, which is fine. I'm down with it. Again, I'm in New York City. I'm in Bryant Park. So to me, it's not a problem. I could show you a screen recording, screen recording of my nearby area here in Manhattan. So you see, we're sitting here in Bryant Park. Look at all the gyms there around. Look at all the stops. Look, look at all the lures so here in New York City is not an issue for us um, but it's not about me it's not about people who live in the city cities like New York cities like Chicago San Francisco Los Angeles big big cities that their stops and their gyms look just similar as this that's this is not what this is about this is about and I'm gonna use this screen recording as an as a as, um, as an example I don't have any screen recording so I'm gonna use an anti campfire for this all right this is a map an anti campfire this is a map for where I started playing Pokemon Go in Ponce Puerto Rico as you can see this one right here this one was the only stop I had which is now a gym this is the only stop I had I lived about 15 minute walk from from there and I see now there's another gym here but you know from that gym to the next to that next gym it takes a while to get there on foot and as you can see you feel a few more again these are more uh, up ahead these also will be a little bit further up to walk so like to do a raid train people will have to drive from one next from one raid to the next to the next to the next to the next and so on so i know people out here don't know them personally like that but i know people out there are forced to spoof people out there are forced to use their cars to drive from one stop to the next to the next with more raiding it was easier probably easier for a lot of these people out here so yeah we are here banding together a bunch of us shout out to um, the lead the trainer club which i'm gonna put his channel up here somewhere for uh reaching out and making this happen shout outs to um kia kyogre purple kyogre yt for making the letter and shout out to pokey daxi for making making this um graphics book which i'm about to read to you here is the letter that uh, we are all showing and it's like and again guys appreciate your support make sure you guys are following the tweet if you have twitter instagram and all that stuff you want your voices heard you have you do try do the best to um contribute and pretty be a part of it so here's the letter the letter reads just like this dear nat we are writing to you on behalf of, of your customers the pokemon go community we want what we we want to start by letting you know that we love pokemon go not just to go but the pokemon franchise in general we are always will be passionate loyal and vocal about our thoughts and concerns we want pokemon go to succeed and we want to be able to play this game the game we all love for years to come unfortunately 
we as a whole feel unheard time and time again our questions go unanswered our concerns are not addressed and most importantly our needs are not taken into proper consideration as of now we are specifically referring to the april 6 remote rate pass update which is tomorrow we do not agree with your decisions and the majority of us want us want you to know that limiting remote rates to five passes per day will harm rural players who lack adequate local community support trainers with disability who physically cannot get outside to play trainers who have severe social anxiety who struggle mentally to go outside to participate in personal raids trainers who work night shifts and cannot participate during the day single parents trainers who are um, managing children household and a career with minimum time to spare and most importantly of all the remote rate changes will limit our global interaction with our trainers who have developed tight bonds with last but the, over the last past three years every form of trainer has equal and every right to play and enjoy Pokemon Go at the end of the day the world has evolved since the pandemic the landscape the landscape of the working playing uh, playing and interactive has evolved and changed trainers now work at home thoughts that thought uh, through through the new work life dyna dynamic rich remote communities were built these communities are just for viable and strong in-person community these communities are unique special and one of a kind and we, we know from the bottom of our hearts that it is equal room to have both types of community flourish simultaneously. If Niantic's goal is to get trainers outside, reward players significantly for doing rates in person rates. Reward, guarantee XL, rare candy. Increase lucky friends' odds during first time in person race interaction. And I don't know, I think lucky lucky friends training should be a thing. At least just about lucky friends. That's just my two cents on it. Offer premium items such as incubator star piece, etc. from each person race. Incentive that die in person race, but do not take away the squander what we built globally over the last three plus years. Without remote raids, the opportunity to attend live events and to meet with our global Pokemon Go friends will not be enticing, exciting, or robust. We as a global community do not, do not want the remote raid issue to come to this point, but as already mentioned, we are not heard. We are sad, distraught, and discouraged because of our inter inter interactions with our global friends will no longer be free to accommodate for every type of global Pokemon Go trainer. Please, for the second time, here's Niantic. Talk to your community. Talk to us. Let us have a discussion. The answer is beyond creative scarce limitation for more raids. We're creating a rich incentive environment to encourage local community congregation. Sincerely, the Pokemon Go community. Again, shout outs to um, Bo Billy, the trainer club, and um, Purple Kyogre for putting this letter up. For Pokedex, he putting up the making the infograph for us. But yes, um, we are not heard. We are not heard. Uh, it's, it's come to, it's really past, it is literally has come to our like Niantic has really has like a bad rep already of not listening to the community of not listening to to even the the top co the content creators they for feedback they just don't really care on the subject they only focus on they, they only focus on one thing and not everything in general um getting together hopefully you guys could hear us hopefully my mom, my voice is very small and this is a small channel so do so much so I'm gonna do my part
putting out this video, putting out the blog, sending out the tweets, putting out my Instagram, and so on and so forth. If you guys feel the same way, you're welcome to share, share the video, share all, all of our videos. Um, you could the, 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 you take the infograph pictures from any of the social medias and share it yourself. Also, there is a there is a petition going around within the community. I'm gonna put the link to that to the first. I'm gonna pin that that link to that in the comments below. Will be the first comment in the links. If you want to sign the petition, feel free. It is free to enter. It is free to sign. Yes, there is contribution. There, you could donate like two dollars, whatever. But it's free to share. You're welcome to share it. This is to get about fifty thousand. I think it is. 50,000 people to sign the petition. We're almost there. We're almost there. We have about, um, you're currently at 46,526. So you're almost close, you're almost close. It is free, again, it's free. It is free to um, to sign up. It is free to share. There is there is a fee, like $2 if you want to. You don't have to, you're not obligated to. But yeah, it's free to sign up. And it's free to share. So let your voices know, go on share this share the video share all the all the other infographs all the pictures and as well as this Chinese petition okay so that is the letter we have stated we have put out um, you are part of my community you guys know that um, I do more raids live stream every Wednesday for raid hour the service for people who, um, who are either looking for that shiny for example Lugia's out right now for like a shiny Lugia or you know, people who are never done a remote raid, uh, sorry, never never done a legendary raid ever. So, um, kids, a lot of kids come through my stream. So, like, yeah, I do provide that service for you guys. Now with this taking it, now with Niantic taking this, we're raid nerfing this. I don't know how much of raiding I could do on, on the live stream on Wednesday unless I come out and stream first uh, on foot personally. If that's the case. Um, it's going to be a little bit difficult than, than I had from home because you know from home I'm sitting down I could write the names down and I, I could have focus more and um, my stream doesn't crash as much because I have better you know it looks just looks better streaming from home now if I stream from the streets I risk the, the risk of um, lag there is going to be a big time difference between the live actual feed and um, what you guys watch it on the on the on the live stream and what I'm currently at. It's like a delay of like 45 seconds or something like that, 50 seconds depending. Um, I may get disconnected. I may reach some areas. That it's just going to be hard to stream. I just want to get disconnected. So it's going to be an issue. I could do it. Don't get me wrong. It's not that I can't do it. I could do it, but it's just going to be not the same. And um, me more waiting much much easier. And you know, it's exactly so here in the channel, I don't know how that's gonna affect, but I'm hoping the changes because it stays that they revert it back to the way it used to be, or they do come up with something. But yeah, this is our thoughts about it. This is our, our, our hope our voices are, are being heard. Um, again, guys, I am a Poke tour from here in New York City. I started in, in, in Puerto Rico. I know what it is to play in a rural area and I know what it is to play a big city. I've been part of both worlds. I drove across the country and I play in different states as I drove across the country. So I could see, definitely could see the difference between a big city and a rural area. So I know how this will affect a lot of you people. So hopefully you guys do your part. If you really strongly feel about this, do your part, share, you know, uh, sh share your, your feedback, share your stories. If you want to do a video about it, you can do a video about it. Hey, you want to do a video about it and send it to me? I may do, I may do that. I may feature people's stories and how this will change you and, and you know, and, and just, uh, just feature you guys in different different perspective you know about the world or whatever you live at how is this going to affect you if you are someone with a disability if you are a parent or kids if you work if you work nights or whatever the case may be you want to you want to record yourself and share your story feel free hit me up find me on twitter discord campfire whatever the case may be and just let me know and speaking of campfire Niantic has uh, a campfire app which, which is limited 
and I'm gonna put my two cents on it. If they really want us to do just the, like these raids, why, why have the uh, uh, anti campfire be limited? It should not be limited. It should be worldwide for anyone to use freely. Um, we should be able to do remote raids from whatever, ever, anywhere you you see on the map that you would like to do. I mean, I know probably they're gonna probably split it, but if you're gonna do just the five the remote raids, then at least have us the chance to remote raid any raids we want from around the world using that the, the campfire app. But yeah, that's my thoughts on it. But if you guys wanna join my campfire, if you have have it, the link will be also in the description. It's free. You are um, welcome to join the campfire group. Um, hopefully you guys can get campfire app because like I said it's limited um, us us both the people who have the app have a limited amount of invites I'm out of invites I can't really send anybody I can just put the link on my group so if you guys have it you're welcome to join um, if you need the app try to find someone who has the app and are not out of invites so they can invite you in and then you open to once you have the app you're free to join any group you want and check out the app how you want but I actually should definitely 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 have the campfire um, available for everyone worldwide again that's it that's my two cents on it appreciate your support make sure you leave a like subscribe share your feedback share the video like share the other the infographic pictures and I appreciate you guys for the support I don't know I'm gonna be streaming today for Lugia Red Hour maybe my last one Let's see what happens, but I probably won't play Pokemon Go until the changes revert. Let's see. Till next time, much love. This is Will Rock. See you in the next one. Peace out. Come on, get down with the sickness.